So despite my uh, begging, I didn't get a Spectrum. I didn't get the rubber key model. What I finally got was the uh, ZX Spectrum 48K Plus. And I got this massive bundle from Dixon's, who I believe had a big deal with Sinclair. They bought a load of stock up. And that's what I got one Christmas. And I, and I had actually given up. I, I didn't know what was in this huge box. And I wasn't expecting it to be a Spectrum because many birthdays and Christmases have passed without one. And then I opened it up. And the first thing I saw was the it was in a big cardboard box and there was like the, the black box of the uh, Spectrum inside and I think I just didn't know what to say for a few minutes and I was taking out the joysticks and the games and God knows what else and unbelievably excited, got downstairs, rigged it up to the TV because of course I didn't have a TV in my room, it was only the lounge TV and uh, of course it didn't work. Fortunately I had about a dozen, maybe 15, 20 games that were all included in this bundle and I just took out the cassette inlays and read each one from cover to cover, time after time after time, until I knew the rudimentary plots to every game off by heart. And unfortunately, that did mean that the games themselves were a bit of a disappointment by the time I finally got to play them, but uh, my imagination had filled in a few dots that weren't there. But yeah, it was, um, it, it was quite something having to wait until, uh, so it would have been Christmas Day, Boxing Day, presumably if that day wasn't a Sunday after that, it would be the next day after that. And then finally going back to uh, the shop where we bought it and the replacement didn't work either. So I had another agonising wait and then it was back and then finally um, uh, the third one did work. Rather strangely, the first game I fancied loading up was Scrabble because I was a big Scrabble fan and my dad also liked playing Scrabble. We always used to play Scrabble a lot. So I said to dad, well, let's, let's have a game of Scrabble then. So the first game that I played on my Spectrum was a version of a board game. But once I got that out of my system, I was playing um, all the games that came with it from Imagine, uh, who'd gone bust by this point, but they had all these spare games left over. And there was a game called Alchemist, which was a very advanced arcade adventure for the time in which you played an alchemist obviously who could turn into an eagle which is like totally random but you know I didn't know alchemists could do that but he could and so you you had to change into an eagle to solve different problems so that was quite original for the time there was another game called Mola Mall which I believe is the world's only tooth cleaning simulator you played a toothbrush and you had to scrub all these teeth in this mouth and then you have games like Stonkers, which was a real-time strategy game before anyone even knew what a real-time strategy game was. So even with that first bunch of games I got with the Spectrum, already I could see that the breadth of imagination that was going on behind all these games.